Just before I start, everyone should know I do have cheats on for this, because without infinite oranges, this route would be hell. Let's go. I'll do my best to commentate this, although I haven't practiced at all. So... Uh, yeah. Most of the train wreck will speak for itself. Please, that's not me, Colin. No, the Outlaw, I have not found a rocket barrel out of bounds in Helm yet. I didn't spend much time looking for it, admittedly, but I couldn't find anything. So this is going to start pretty much regularly. Since this is no moves, we can still have access to training barrels, and we're going to need every single one of them in order to accomplish this task. This would be... It's probably possible, RTA, without... Uh, whoops. Without some training barrels. But it would be really, really difficult. It would make you want to tear your hair out. I'm not really looking for that, so I'm just going to do them. But we're going to avoid buying any cranky moves for any of the Kongs as well as Simeon Slam and moves from Candy and Funky. So this run is going to be done only on one melon the entire way through. We're not going to have access to guns. We don't even go and visit the Banana Fairy. Oh my god. Keep forgetting I have access to infinite oranges. Alright, so that's all the moves that we're getting in this run. Hey, ISO. That is correct, Colin. No guns. Also, no revisits in this uh, run, which is pretty neat. Come on. Please. <laughs> There we go. Oh, come on. Okay, Aztec, we're just here to accomplish some very simple things with DK. Come on. Oh, 
All right. Nice. Can tell I definitely practiced. Wonderful. So where the hell am I? Okay. That's fine. I don't need to tag any warps here or anything. So the fact that I even got that clip is good. No, this route does not have chunky vase GB. There are no revisits in this route. We go to each place once, that's it. Except for Helm, we don't go to Helm. So, we couldn't save Lanky even if we wanted to. So we're just here to take his GB and run. Because we don't care about him. He's worthless. There we go. This is super annoying, I hate this backflip. There we go. Okay, that's all we're doing in there. Don't want to die because I haven't tagged any Aztec warps. So I'm going to take that tag barrel for health. There we go. This is a really, really dumb O-clip, so expect this to take a while. <sighs> there we go. So we have to out of bounds nav around these gates. Because obviously enough, we don't have the gun. Height boost off of that, and then we can inbounds. Ugh. Arc is getting VC. Nice.
I don't blame him. N64 is pretty lonely. Uh, no, after you get the GB, the doors are still there, but you can walk through the back of them. They're not solid on the back sides. And we do actually have to fight this boss for one reason. I'm sure you can guess it. We need key 5. You don't have to be social, Haru. You can just lurk. This is the last thing we get in Aztec. We can just reset out of there. The banana auto saves. Okay, tag warp 5. Didn't need to hit warp 1 there, but it's in the way. Hey blue. Thank you for the good luck, and your run- did I miss you stream a run, or were you doing offline attempts? I'm gonna be mad if I missed you do a run. Yeah, so Kiwi got a 231 Mad Jack on VC. Just from the ending cutscene and the key grab, VC probably saves a couple seconds. Oh, okay, offline. Well, sorry to hear that it went like crap. Okay, so now, now the real fun begins. Aztec was a warm-up. Dang, sorry to hear that, Blue. Oh 
Okay. Nice. But that's not it. You may have noticed I didn't get the GB there. The reason for that is the O-clip back into that area is hell. It's a lot easier and usually more time efficient to just leave and re-O-clip into the tree. have seen me run into walls and not get through them. That proves that it is not hacks. Unfortunately, this stupid kick makes a return. not mandatory, but it is faster if you can do it. Which I apparently can't seem to do. <laughs> Jesus, it's about time. Okay, so we need to tag warp 4. Since we don't have rocket barrel to reach the top, we have to spend a lot of time rolling up with DK. Kinda sucks, but it's all we can do. Okay, so warp 4 is our primary objective on the way up. But we're not done yet. We have to go even higher. Oh my goodness. Nice. There we go. Come on. There we go. That's for good reason. Because we need to death warp out of here. Hit me! Jeez. There's no way out without death warping. That room is very, very lagless. At least in that area. So we take warp 4 back up, since we tagged it on the way up. And now it's time to save some of our friends. Since we have no moves, this is the only way we can free any of the Kongs except for DK. So, 
sit back and um, find something to do for like two, three minutes. You can watch this for two to three minutes, but this is boring. I'm just freeing Kongs. If it's true, it's true. Wow, I got rid of DK before he went away. That's amazing. Alright, this is our last trip. So, I think we're done with bosses now, completely. So, on the back of this, we can do a ledge clip as Lanky to get into the loading zone. There we go. Unfortunately, we have to watch this cutscene. Nothing we can do about that. Do ledge clips work IRL? They shouldn't, ISO. left of castle, so that's nice. 
I took out something that was incredibly stupid. However, after the run, if anyone remembers it and tells me to do the incredibly stupid thing in Castle, I will do it. suck. Okay, so we're done with castle. More fun Oclips incoming. Well, one at least. Timing this O clip is garbage. Yeah. about time. No, not just this one. There are a lot of Oclips in this route that are just absolute stupidity. And we can't get out of here, so we need to Death Warp. I didn't like it. Okay. So, we can do that to get inside of whatever. Oh, come on. This camera is terrible. There we go. So, you can STVW K Lumsey's platform. And then you can just jump to get inside the inner shell portion. Znernik has taught me that, so big thank you to him.
And again, we need to death warp out, because these cages are solid on both sides. I'm surprised that one got in. So we O-clip through there, and looking for a specific area here. You see that in a lot of runs. They'll lower that cage from out of bounds. Oh Jesus, that camera. Okay, so this this part kind of sucks. Okay. Sorry to hear, Glorious. Thank you for the good luck, though. Oh, that's the wrong way. So since we don't turn on the production room, rather, we can't turn on the production room, we have to do everything while we're up here. What if I... Nah, it doesn't matter. Okay. Whew. I was trying to get a feel for the timing there before actually doing the clip. Or the lag jump. Start a factory is probably the scariest part of it. There is a place where I have a great chance of dying later, unfortunately, so I'm not thrilled about that. But we'll get there, eventually. And worry about it then. Okay. So this Kasplat is dumb. We don't need to tag that high warp 4, but it's helpful. Thank <laughs> you. 
And that's the GB we get from freeing Chunky, even though we freed him in Castle. This is another really dumb oak clip coming up. Oh, okay, cool. And this is even dumber. Because this trick is just pretty much luck based. I don't want to end up dying in here. Oh my god, this is not good. Fuck. That's not good. So now I have to clip back out and go down there. Okay. I'm going to heal up from uh, the tag barrel here. I suppose I could have healed off of that robot. Okay. Please, please let me get the clip. Thank you. Jeez. That's not a tough clip, but the clip itself is just stupid. Oh. Okay, so we need to die there to get back to the start of Factory. I mean, there are other ways. But if we try to leave manually, what ends up happening... Oh, whoops. Is DK soft blocks behind that gate? So now we go to Snides. Just because it's easier to clip to Snides than it is uh, to clip through that gate blocking the way. Yeah. 
Welcome to bonus stage. It was decent RNG, except for the part where I fucked it up. Not a big deal, though. So now we're done with everyone except Chunky. So normally most people would go and get Chunky's blueprint in that area below before coming up here, but I have a very good reason for skipping it. gonna come back down here and get it now. Because we're gonna do a neat little trick here. No! <laughs> I missed it. of the edge here and pull ourselves up and out of bounds. I lost all of my height, that's fine. So we can height boost there by going over here we can get to stash smash. Welcome to bonus stage. Okay, and the only reason we don't do stash snatch earlier is we have to pause exit from here. We can't get out because of that gate. don't have Simeon Spring. Oops. So, we have to reach the barrel with DK instead. Welcome to bonus day. Welcome. 
him back, Outlaw. Uh, DK can't pick up this banana, though, since it's not his. So we just tag Diddy there, and he can pick it up. No problem. Oh goodness, I didn't swim far enough. Since we don't have Primate Punch, Chunky can't get past the B-Locker very easily. There is an old method where you can ledge clip and go underneath him. But we need DK anyways in Galleon, so we just tag him there. one for later. Nice. That's all we accomplish in this area for now. Oh boy. I uh, yeah. Oh, come on. I just keep going the wrong way. Camera's a bit of an issue here. Galleon's pretty broken just because of STD, STVW. We don't need much more than that to get what we need here. Oh my goodness. Please grab it. Are you joking? Oh my god. In the words of Hipster, 2D sprites in a 3D game. What were they thinking? Dude, depth perception is hard, Outlaw.
come on. I don't know what causes that gets them locked in their or gets get the Kong locked in a swimming animation, but you can't change it. Tag that warp for later. This next one is fun. Since we don't have Baboon Balloon, we need to do something special to reach this. Skid Jump Backflip does the trick. Oops. Wow, I cannot aim to save my life, apparently. one, so I'm not even going to try it. Those are the pearls for Tiny. And we can do a neat little trick here to get around this gate. We can just swim right around it. All right. 
right. This guy didn't want to let Lanky knock him down easily. has a neat way of getting into her area here. going to take warp 1 that we tagged at the very beginning of Galleon. Two back. Navigating to that, it's such a pain. Welcome to bonus stage. fish. There's actually quite a bit we can do in Galleon, so this split takes a lot longer than the others. N not that I have splits, but you get the idea. This segment.
Should be more over here. Chunky. There we go. Welcome to bonus stage. the tag barrel. I don't need the tag barrel, but I needed the direction of it. Also STVW into there, but you have to do it from the other side. Welcome to bonus stage. That was good. Unfortunately, we don't have 30 GBs at this point. It would be better to re-enter as Chunky. So we're gonna have to backtrack just a little bit here. Same thing with Lanky, or as same thing as we did with Lanky, but Chunky can't get through the lower part. He can only get through the higher part above the switch. Oops. Yeah, I didn't think that would hit. No, let me, let me go.
Not the greatest swim, but I'll take it. I didn't void out, that's good enough for me. Nice try, Colin. Welcome to bonus stage. Good answer, Amalthys. Okay. Oops, I need to go that way. This is the last thing we do in Galleon. Oops. Even if we don't free the seal, you can still race him, which is kind of neat. And I'm bad at the skip, so I'm just going to race him. There you go, Amalthy's finally worked with you. Congrats, Colin. Oh, Hito, thank you for the host. Nice, jerk. Seal likes to push you out of gates sometimes. Will the world record be free for anyone after because they can do seal race skip? Uh, not just because of that. I'm sure there are a lot of amendments we can make to this route. Plus there are things like that stupid thing in Castle that I'm not going to talk about right now that are faster than things like this. Connor, I'm bad at seal race skip. It's ironic, but I can do it on VC. Just not N64. Thank you for the good luck, Ito. How did stream go today for you?
Hey, Glass Eye, thank you for the good luck. Bad, that's not good to hear. I'm sorry, Hito. Well, you can laugh at me be bad instead because this is not a very easy run skip but so be it okay jungle japes has the most bananas out of any other area that we can access it also may or may not be one of the more annoying levels but it's not the hardest I just want to tree kick, Jesus. Yeah, funny that the first GB in the game is 32nd in the run. Busy being bad, okay? The camera was weird and I didn't think to fix it. So this is a very obscure Japes route. This is nothing like what you would see in NLE or 101. some tag warp 3 there. Vine skip. We don't have any. <laughs> we don't have any guns, so we have to skip the vines entirely. Don't fall off, thank you. That's one. Okay, three. Phew! That is a little bit tougher than it looks. fine. Okay, here we go. This is the fun part of the run. 
as in this is one of the most annoying parts of the run. We're going to get damage skew off of a beaver. Hi Abby, how are you doing? Should be... what, that way. Okay. Okay. So, this is the beaver. Oh, I am not far enough. I hope that was good enough. Yeah, that's good enough. Um, cage GB. Now I need tiny. I'm pretty good, thank you. So, um, that beaver that I just got skew off of, that's not the end of it. We get to visit him twice more, for a total of three skew section, er, yeah, I guess it would be three skew sections in Japes. It's kind of hairy, but, well, it's faster than some of the other options. Come on. Still a lot more to do in Japes. We're nowhere near done yet. So we skew into the beehive, because we don't need anything in here. Other than the banana, of course. Okay. Oop. There we go. And there's no way out of here, so we have to exit level. And then while we're out here, we also need to tag DK for Bush Bush. Also, Beaver Trip 2 coming up. Oops. This time we're skewing with DK. Yes, I did decide which ones to remove Hito. Uh, that is not where I wanted to end up. Oh, Jesus. Come on, Windows 10. Don't yell at me right now. Um... Okay, I don't know if this will still work, but I'll try it. Where's the beaver at? There. Uh, oh boy, that is not a good skew. I don't think... Oh, I might be able to get up. Nope. 
Nah, that's a bad skew. I have to redo it. Uh, what are my typical stream times? I kind of just pick and choose whenever I feel like streaming. I don't have a stream schedule, unfortunately. Okay, let's not end up in fairy room this time. Okay, that should be a better skew. Oh yeah. I'm gonna grab some health. Listen to my windows overlords. No. They can't tell me what to do, outlaw. Oh, come on. Taking warp 2 that we tagged earlier. This part should be pretty familiar. I have to be very careful that I don't lose skew here. Wrong way, but so be it. something that y you kind of see in NLE, or not NLE, 101. We can skew climb to get into the mountain. That's something you don't see. You see them skew climb to get on top of the mountain. And then from in here, I'm going to go like... <sighs> this may take me a few tries to get. Aw, thought that was it. Also, you can't pull yourself back up onto that box if you grab the ledge. You just have to drop down. Oh, goodness. There we go. Okay, so the loading zone for this minecart extends infinitely up and infinitely down. So I should be able to just do that. Test. Why are you saying test? What's working? I'm confused. test. Oh, your net. Okay, gotcha. Just ignore you. Alright. I don't need these extra coins, but I wanted them to be safe. Oh, uh, boy. Of course I get the extra coins, and then... I hit the mouth.
I should still be okay, though. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. And here we go again. Beaver trip number three. This time with Lanky. It's the easiest with Chunky because he's the largest. So he pokes out of the water farther than either DK or Lanky. But it's possible with both of them. It's just... A bit bothersome. Camera, thank you. Come on. Good skew. Yeah, that beaver is a bit of a ditz. Okay, I do have full health. I'm very worried about health this run, because if I die, it can just completely throw off my route. I don't know why I have Take Warp 2 written in here twice. That was probably the old route. And we can just do that to get up. What? There we go. Yeah, the Marcus strat. It's so good. Oops. Oops. No, 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 no. So Lanky can just climb that slope like that. Welcome to bonus stage. Well done. We're almost done, Japes now. The amazing thing about Japes is you can get 22 out of a total 25 golden bananas in Japes. 
that's absolutely incredible. Without moves, that is. There are others you could get, but it gets really, really annoying to get things like Minecart Mayhem. Okay. So if you go to the right of this, you'll almost definitely void out. Going to the left makes it in. Welcome to bonus stage. Best mini game and best music in the game. Hey, Rai, how are you doing? Oh, I need to go this way. Uh, the test run's going alright. It's going about as expected. It's nothing amazing. And we have to make one more swim in there. And unfortunately, we have to watch the Diddy cutscene with Diddy. You could watch it with Tiny instead, but the tag in Trough and Scoff takes longer than the tag out here, since you need to walk past, uh, walk past this tag barrel to do the swim anyway. So it's just much faster to do it here. Can't wait to do this run for yourself. Um, Rai, wait and see my caves before you say that you want to do this route. My caves should change your mind. Okay. Welcome to bonus stage. I mean, if you still want to do it after watching caves, then be my guest. But it is not easy. Yeah, this barrel sucks. 2D sprites in a 3D game. Okay, that is correct. 33443. Now we need Chunky. Yeah, the cave skew. That one was pretty ridiculous. That's the worst part of it. Not to say that it's easy aside that, though. Alright, time to get Chunky's GB. Oop, come on. Uh, Chunky can't grab this from underneath, as far as I'm aware. There we go. We have to death warp out of that cage, which is 
Well, it's to be expected. And that's the wrong way. Need DK. Because now it's time for everyone's favorite trick. Having this near the end of the run just sucks as well. But having caves at the end of the run is worse. doing for time right now. 138? Okay, that's a lot better than I was expecting. This also has fungi early, like right at, right near the end of the run as well. So it's gonna be rough. <laughs> and mushroom kick. Up to that tag barrel. This is another really annoying level because of a certain O-clip. And, not to mention, we climb the mushroom with Diddy. Which sucks, but there's no other way up there. Okay, so just in case something bad happens, I'm gonna tag warp 5 here. I shouldn't need it, but I'll tag it anyway. Because something has happened where I've absolutely needed warp 5, and I didn't have warp 5, and it sucked. No, 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 Remember when I said I needed warp 5 and I didn't have warp 5? That's exactly what happened. Uh, where is it? It's back here. It, it's fine, guys. This is why I tagged Warp 5. Can just take it to get back up. There we go. That's what's supposed to happen. When is 
lanky keg boost into loading zone. Uh, if you want to do an adaptation of the route, go for it, Outlaw, but I sure don't want to do that. Yeah, that is a very shit clip. I'm surprised it even made it into NLE at one point. Okay. Now to do something interesting. I'm gonna leave this area for now. Now, if you thought Fungi Early was shit enough of a trick to add into this run, wait until you see what comes next. This next portion could easily take me 10 minutes just for 1 GB, but it's really, really quick if I get it right away. I don't think I need to tag that. Oh, yeah, I did. I did. That's good. Now, those of you that know this game well, you should know exactly where I'm going. This is one of the shitty moon tails that I could not remove from the run. Okay, that was good. Now this part, though. Okay, so I am... I'm on the edge here. Oh, I missed that! And, okay, see, that's what I mean. That room can take years to do sometimes, and other times you can just YOLO it and get it. Okay, so I'm gonna tag this warp one for later, just in case I don't get this. Okay, now you'll notice I can't get out of this room at night, but that doesn't matter.
Yeah, that is another reason why this would be hell without infinite oranges. That is correct. Okay, so here's something kind of interesting. Go around that loading zone. And we can navigate out of bounds to this loading zone. And we can get out through that gate. For some reason it doesn't softlock DK. I tagged warp 1 just in case I got stuck. In which case I would have had to pause exit. That's a good skew. Oh, did I not tag warp 2? I don't think it matters, but I didn't tag warp 2. That's not a problem. Oh, no, 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 no. Leave me alone, tomato. Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. I can just walk out of here since I have skew, but I was supposed to tag warp 2 so I could take it out of here. It would be quicker. Okay, take warp, th whoops, take warp three, so now I have some very, very important jumps to make, well, one, at least, fuck, why did I do that, I pressed A to get out of C up mode, that was entirely my fault. Now I have to go back and skew again. <sighs> yeah, except this time we've routed it, see Kate's. So, I'm doing a run of it. A test run, mind you. I wish it were going better, but it is a first run and a test run of the route. So, it's going about as expected. It doesn't cost too much time, but it does bother me that I lost skew. Okay. <sighs> Let's get back there. That's warp one. Oh, well, I already knew not to press A and C up mode. I don't even know why I did it. Okay. So that was the jump that I was worried about. If you don't make that, you end up in the water and you lose skew anyway, and then I have to go get it again, and all that fun stuff. So this skew is just for 1 GB. That warp 4 doesn't matter. Okay, so we go out of bounds right here. And we can walk beneath the anthill. Oh. There we go. So you can backflip into the anthill loading zone.
And we don't need that bean. Marcus, I thought of that, but that would not work with this because we don't have Ponytail Twirl to keep us from dying. Now, also, we don't want to just die out of here. Yeah, I know, Sea Kates. I'm just mad that I made that dumb of a mistake. Like, I knew not to do it, and I still did it. No, no fake bean. I didn't even pick it up. Uh, oh yeah, pause exit. Okay. We're on to the last level in the route. This is also the toughest part of the route. And it's right at the end. Oh no! I messed that up. I was supposed to long jump. Uh, that's fine. I'll just tag DK and enter. With orange lag and lanky long jump, you can land right on the ear and enter the loading zone like that. Then there's there would be no need to tag DK there. How to press a button, please. So we can ledge clip out of bounds here. To get to Lanky's blueprint. Oops. And this is where we would regularly tag DK. That's not far enough. ledge clip quick. I'm surprised the DK one is taking me this long. Jeez. That took a lot longer than it should have. So we can add a bounds to here. That's the wrong way. I can only get this wrong, like, three times. One more time. There we go. Ay ay ay. <laughs> yes, outlaw. I still have no moves. Good job on noticing. Aw, no elevator kick. Oh well. Okay, entering caves. The toughest part of the run. Let's go.
So the DK section in caves is super long because there's a ton of stuff that you need to do with him. To make up for having no moves. So, here comes the f oh, here comes probably one of the hardest GBs. I say probably because I'm sure somebody will find an easy way to do this, or find this GB easy. Now remember, we only have one melon. That means touching the wall once is instant death. Okay, cool. First try. Like I said, instant death if you touch that wall. I'm really bad at that moon kick. Uh, yeah, CK, so you can get key 5 in Aztec. Doing that, the Fungi Trough and Scoff portal will not disappear, because it doesn't disappear until you leave it and it sees that you have the key. Since I never left it, it doesn't know that I have the key. Therefore, it's spawned. What?! Holy camera flips. Alright. Good. Good. Yes, this is on N64. No! <laughs> Damn it. Ah, uh, that's one of the worst things that can happen. It was bound to happen. Go. Welcome to bonus stage. Best mini game again. This one takes forever without guns, though. Okay, now that's not DK's banana, so he can't pick it up right now. Well, he can't pick it up plain and simple. Now, it is really, really important that I do not void out or die anywhere. If either happens, I will have to redo Mad Maze Mall. Nice kick. Now 
Yeah, that is something that I like to see. It's something that I should be getting every time, because that's an easy kick. That is not luck, Colin. That is skill. Also, shoutouts to Outlaw for finding that clip. It is absolutely gorgeous. There we go. Oh my god. Come on, get hit! Who has the highest backflip? Diddy and Tiny share the highest backflip. Okay, so that warp 5 that we tagged earlier, it's about to become useful. Oh, of course I do that. Nice. Very nice. Oh, I know I can outlaw, but I have terrible, terrible luck, or terrible aiming to do that. I can never seem to get it. Oh, please no. Hello there, Nina Amor. I hope that I said that right. Sorry if I said it wrong. So we're almost done. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> okay, so this jump is pretty annoying. So that GB that we, uh, I guess unlocked earlier. Oh boy, I barely got that. The oranges exploded late. Alright, later sea cates. Uh... Right. Oh! Okay, interesting. Jeez. 
points. Nice camera flip. How did that not go through? Okay. So, it's okay if I void out now. Not that I want to, but it is okay if I do. And that's very important here. I have a good ch See what I mean? I can just take Warp 2 back, luckily. <sighs> I love this game. So DK can also do what I'm trying to do with Diddy, but his requires uh, a little bit more precision, because he has to height boost off of something else. Okay, there we go. And that is how you get to Diddy's Kasplat the alternate way. What do you mean, I was saying? That void clearly spoke for itself, Outlaw. That's not what I wanted. I wanted the cartwheel. Igloo complete. Yeah, this is just a meme category, if that. But it shows off a lot of neat strats that you may not see in real runs. I had a lot of fun routing this because of that. We had to come up with some wacky strats just to make this possible. Oh, that is the wrong one. Don't fall off, Lanky. Oh, come on! Dang, you really want to see that incredibly stupid thing in Castle, don't you? I will do it after the run, I promise. Since you reminded me, I will do it. Okay, there we go. It's not that it's stupid because, like, 
it's just a dumb way of doing it. It's stupid because it's absurdly difficult. Speaking of absurdly difficult, by the way, here comes something that's also absurdly difficult, but I left in the run because this is really, really cool. Need to go over here. Where is he? He's over there. Oh, he's not gonna come over here. There we go. So, that is how you skew off of that Kremlin. But that's not the stupid part. The stupid part has yet to come. Okay. There we go, got it! Whew. That is one of the dumbest tricks in this run. Okay, good. That went through. Oh, for fuck's sakes. That's okay. I'm an idiot. I have to re-get skew. It's important for something else. So, we are not done with stupidity yet. Not at all. Here's another dumb trick coming up. Like I said, caves is the hardest part of this route. It is not easy by any means. Okay, made that. Now I need to make four jumps in a row. That's three. That's four. Okay, good. We can just skew through that mini monkey hole. And into that bonus barrel. Welcome to bonus day. Okay, did I tag warp 3? I did. Good stuff. The idea was to keep skew and uh, do all that. Forgot the most important part. Oh. Uh, nah. Lanky hasn't done anything wrong this run. So there's no point to me shooting him. Everyone else can shoot him, but he hasn't done me any harm yet. Oh. Uh, come on. Doesn't matter, he can get hit once or twice. Oh, 
Okay, SJ backflip works too. Was looking for SJ LJ, but I'll take it. Okay, and 66? Yes. My banana count is right. So this is also a very dumb clip. Nice! I got that relatively quick. Wow, this might sub 230. Oh, jeez. <sighs> I'm good at video games. That swim to snides is dumb. Especially as Chunky. He keeps surfacing, which causes the camera to flip a bunch. And this swim is really stupid in that if you are not right beneath the path, you will very likely void out like I did. Okay, here we go. So this is the very end of the run, all we do is turn in blueprints, and I should hit 100. Oh, Glass Eye is also a 2 dose sub. Nice. Seventy four is correct. Off oh, doing whatever I was doing. I was, um, I guess you could say I was doing work elsewhere away from internet. Dude, Colin, this is going to be sub my NLE PB. But keep in mind that you don't fight any bosses in this run aside Cutout and Dogadon 1. Accidentally closed Chrome. Well, welcome back, Outlaw. Eighty one is correct. Yeah, as the group said, I was away at war. I wasn't actually away at war.
That is correct. This doesn't look like it'll be sub 225 because I still have two more Kong's blueprints to turn in. Four is correct. Now I just need to turn in tinies. this sub 226? It should. There's no- yeah, yeah, yeah. this'll sub 226. And time ends when the banana counter shows up, and shows 100. There we go! 225.51. Now, for reference, this is all of the blueprints that we got. That's actually quite a few, isn't it? You get nobody's in Aztec except for D.